The red panda is an endangered species of the Himalayan region. They are categorized as Schedule 1 animal as per the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. In India, red pandas are found in the state of West Bengal, Sikkim and the northeastern states of Arunachal Pradesh and Meghalaya. In West Bengal, they are found in the Singalila National Park and Neora Valley National Park. Their population is declining due to habitat destruction and predation by feral dogs. Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park, in collaboration with Wildlife Wing, has taken up the program for conservation breeding of red panda, as well as restocking of these species in the wild habit of Singalila National Park to strengthen the wild population through release of genetically, biologically and behaviorally viable zoo-bred red panda in the wild, which will help long-term conservation of these species. PNHZ Park has two off-display breeding centers, that is, Topke Dara and the Old Conservation Breeding Center, which specifically house red pandas and snow leopards. The breeding centers are located away from the town to provide undisturbed environment to facilitate breeding. Selected individuals from the captive stock were shifted to Topke Dara for over a year. Selection of animals is a very crucial process. Currently, the park houses a total of 27 genetically healthy red pandas. Dr. Joy D, uh, looking after health and breeding of red pandas in Darjeeling Zoo. A very good record of breeding pandas and we have been very successful in that. Noel, Shifu, Smile and Yeshe have been put through several behavioral interventions and rigorous monitoring to encourage their natural behavior, including anti-human and anti-predator behavioral competence during the last two years. The diet of all these four animals has been modified to reflect their natural diet in the wild. In conservation breeding program, selection of individuals is extremely important. In this case, we selected individual pair based on their genetic relatedness and their stud book data. So genetic analysis of these individuals was done at CCMB Hyderabad and stud book was done in consultation of international experts. For tracking of red pandas in the wild, selection of right collars is very crucial. Since the weight of red panda is around 5 kilograms, we need a very light collar. In this project, we have selected the litter track uh, iridium collars which has multiple advanced features and is very compact. It, it is around 200 grams of weight and uh, it has a foam which fits very comfortably in the neck of red pandas. It has GPS uh, transmitter wherein it sends GPS location via Iridium satellite system. It, uh, it has a looped antenna through which we can track the animal in the field of using very high frequency antennas. And it has a compact battery which lasts for uh, 70 weeks. It has a drop-off device when the battery life is over, the collar drops off. It has advanced feature of mortality function, wherein if the animal dies, it gives the signal. And it has also feature of geofencing, wherein we can preset the GPS location. And if the animal crosses those, that GPS location, it gives signal. In this project, we have uh, preset Indo-Nepal border as uh, geofence. Noel, Shifu, Smile and Yeshe have of late become very dear to the zookeepers and staff of Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park. They will soon be going to the wild and the feeling of separation has made everyone's heart heavy. On the early morning of 15 January 2021, all PNHZ Park staff, particularly zookeeper Ranjit and other members accompanied the four red pandas to their journey, to their freedom and to procreate to keep their species surviving and thriving in Singalila National Park. SNP is located at a height of 2,500 to 3,600 meters. It is an ideal habitat for red panda in the lap of the Himalayas, 
protected by sentinels of the forest. 1.5 hectare area on the slope will be the temporary home for Noel, Shifu, Smile and Yeshe. The soft release facility has withstood the test of time and was first constructed in 2002 during the first planned augmentation program. The facility was again modified in 2019 for Back to the Wild Red Panda augmentation program. Darjeeling Zoo has put extensive efforts in this. We have placed four researchers here who will be monitoring 24 hours the animals. Two junior research fellows and two field assistants will be there for one and a half year and will continuously monitor the movement of Noel, Shifu, Smile and Yeshe. The technologically advanced callers will assist them in locating the animals in the forest. The release took place at 12.30 p.m. The first pair, Shifu and Smile, were chosen to be freed from the wooden crate. Noel and Yeshe were next to be released. The soft release facility will be the home for all the four pandas for another six weeks till they acclimatize to the climate and shift to the natural diet. Thereafter, they will be allowed to merge in the wilderness to chart their own territory and add to their species by bringing fresh blood to Singalila National Park. Two pairs of red panda were finally released into the wild in the presence of the member secretary, Central Zoo Authority, CZA, Dr. Sanjay Shukla, IFS, on 2603-2022. I think it is a uh, good, good occasion today Sir. and uh, hopefully uh, this will add to the conservation in the wild. I think the purpose with which this conservation being is done. Sir. So you are doing for two species Sir. and uh, out of these two red panda after a quite long gap so we have been doing this and hopefully they add to the population the wild and augment the Sir. population. Good. Uh, monitoring of the animals will be done through satellite, through VHF antennas and through the staff of the territory. This is a joint effort with the Darjeeling Zoo and Darjeeling Wildlife Division. I am, I am extremely hopeful that our efforts will bring the fruit and will have breeding in the wild and this augmentation will be a huge success.